four miles in the bag. guys we are one week post show this is the physique update we didn't blow up like a cookie didn't blow up like a balloon i'm gonna show you guys my diet as a hybrid athlete staying shredded training hard so let's get into it so i'm gonna show you guys my diet to come out of a cutting phase diet so if you ever want to go on a cut i would refer back to this video because i'm gonna give you tips and tricks that have helped me to keep off the weight most people that lose weight always gain it back and yeah we're gonna gain some fat back but as you saw i'm really lean still and uh, i've been maintaining this for a time good time being so um yeah I'm just gonna walk you guys through like my my daily habits through training um to keep on the muscle and uh to keep off the fat and just to stay feeling good as well, because that's a huge component of this. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the video. But today we have a leg day and a four mile run. The four mile runs first, so, God, like, this is gonna be a hard training day, but this is gonna show you guys how I feel and how I balance um, as a hybrid athlete weightlifting and running. I think this is the hardest day of the week. I have chicken legs, we're gonna try and grow them. That's why I'm wearing sweatpants. So you can't see. We're gonna see them today and we're gonna grow these chicken legs uh, for our next big endurance event or show. We'll see. Alright, so we just made our first meal of the day. It's just gonna be protein and greens. Now, I technically consider this fasting. I say it's protein fasting, protein leveraging. I leverage protein in the morning, I'll have this, and I won't eat until like one o'clock. Basically, this just like keeps my satiety at bay. It also allows me to train in the morning and feel really good, get my micronutrients, fiber to keep me satiated and healthy today, greens, to get my micronutrients in, and then GI, which is gonna be for gut health, make sure I digest everything. So, this is gonna be what I have before I go for a run. It is six o'clock right now, so, bad day to be some miles. My favorite thing about running in the woods is it makes me feel like I'm a wild animal. Like I have to finish this this run to earn my meal to get some protein for the day. I just love earning shit. I'm a firm believer that you gotta earn this feel good feeling in the morning. You gotta suffer for a bit, not too hard, but just enough to get your heart rate up, feel something. Go get that meal, and yeah. Four miles in the bag, 33 minutes. Let's see what the pace is. Yeah, 25 minutes per mile, so, yeah, not bad, feeling really good, post physique show. Post run, 4 miles, 8.25 minute per mile pace on the trail, 33 minutes. That's what I'm talking about. Real quick, I'm going to show you guys, like, update. Hybrid, baby. Bad day to be some miles. We're back from the run. I did some work real quick. 
Um, I have a business coming that I'm super excited to launch and you guys can't wait to to just like have like these meetups. I'm doing a group run this weekend and it's gonna funnel into what I'm creating and I'm excited to share that with you guys here soon. Um, but I was working on some business stuff, came back from the run and then I went to the grocery store but I'm gonna share with you guys the wraps that I use um, right now that are a game changer. It's these carb balance wraps. Now I like them because they're high in fiber. Like I said, people, and I used to be like one of those people that were hungry all the time, it's because I wasn't eating enough fiber. Um, it has 25 grams of fiber, I eat two of these, and then six grams of fat, and um, nine grams of protein, 110 calories per wrap, and these are pretty big, so um, I'm gonna show you guys what my first meal is. You already know it's a bad day to be a coffee. We're gonna make protein coffee and some egg wraps to kick off our first meal and recover from the run. And then we'll do some work and it'll be a bad day to be awake. Just a full day of training as a hybrid athlete, weapon, just getting it done. Trying not to get too small. I look small right now. If I stand over here, the angles, I don't know. I just look small. Gonna add some fat free cheddar cheese to the eggs. They're almost done. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. Now, here is gonna be the first meal. So, before um, I show you guys the meal, I did put pink Himalayan sea salt on it, which is basically gonna allow your body to retain more sodium and also hydrate the body, hold more in intramuscular and subcutaneous water, which is great for hybrid athlete training. Um, and great for pumps. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So we have 300 grams of egg whites, one egg, fat-free cheese, and then the carb balance wraps with some peppers and onions. And yeah, this is gonna be the first meal. And I'm excited. I literally can't wait. This is, this is a good one with a protein coffee that I'm gonna show you. Something about training fasted and earning your meal. It's 1221 right now, 1230. So I normally eat around 12.31, sometimes two, uh, but just like having that time period after my protein shake where I don't eat, and just like hunt, be like a hunter, be like a lion in the jungle, running, lifting. It's pretty satisfying. Um, I feel like I really earn it. I don't know, that's just me. It's my mindset, you don't have to have that. It just works for me. So, enough talking. This food is calling my name. So I'm gonna dig in. I mean, just check out that bite. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. So this is what the protein coffee looks like. Off on it. See, my mom got me a shout out to my mom. She got me a double pronged one because um, I went through like five of those in a month five of these like blenders. So I got a double sword one from my mom. Uh, so shout out to my mom, but yeah, this is gonna be the protein coffee. Real quick, I wanna show you guys what I add into this to make it amazing. So the only thing you have to do is buy some skinny syrup. I get this off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap, cinnamon dulce. I mix this with some vanilla raw grass-fed whey protein and uh, some almond milk and a stevia and it's sweet, it tastes amazing, it satisfies my cravings, keeps me caffeinated, gets me ready to go slam some weights. So with that being said, we're gonna have this coffee and uh, do a little work. So I'll see what I say next, I'll catch you guys then. Kick this leg day, build up these chicken legs. It's a pit check. Pit check. Um, the Jordans. Those aren't Jordans. <laughs> I know. I just call them Jordans because like, it's, they look like Jordans. Nike dunks because your boy got hops. <laughs> Jim Shark. <laughs> and then um, Jim Shark, Jim Shark, Code French. Let's do it. Because we're trying to be a diesel F450 now since we finished the, the cut. We got some orange pre. This is going to be like the fuel of the diesel, the, the truck. One scoop of orange pre-workout, and then one scoop of this raspberry lemonade. So that you can also use code French. All right, so we're at the gym, about to hit the leg sesh. Starting out with Smith Machine Squats. These are my favorite for like growth. Um, I'm really gonna prioritize legs, growing them. 
so it helps my runs, helps me like build the foundation. And I think everything stems from your legs and that's where I'm lacking. So I think my upper body will grow more and my lifts will get stronger. So I'm gonna focus on the compound movements first. So we're gonna start out with the Smith machine. Got a plate on there to warm up, so let's do it. First set of legs back, how's it feel? Just the warm up. <laughs> And I already feel tired. <laughs> but no, we're gonna grow some tree trunks this year. All right, so we're gonna go into our top set. We only have 275 on, keeping it light, as I haven't trained legs in a bit. Um, so, just so like I don't go crazy and I can still run and train, we're gonna keep it light and progress each week. Progressive overload's how you grow. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Heavy. Yeah, just a little, a little tired from the show, but felt a little heavy. <laughs> so we hit our compound movement, now we're going into hack squat. Um, keeping the rep ranges for, we did like all my compounds, I'm really focusing on like six to eight reps. Um, I feel like that's the best for me for not only just legs, back, chest, and everything. It just it seems the best for me. Sometimes I'll work my way up to 10. I don't go over 10, really. Um, my body prefers intensity over volume, I think. So we're gonna hit this, like I said, just going into this leg day, but this is like how I like to train legs and how I learned from Brett, Wilkin, and Vaughn. All right, so we did two quad focus, one being the Smith machine and then the hack squat. And now we're gonna move on to glutes. So I did the two quads, now glutes. So to hit glutes, you're gonna feet to the top of the leg press and really focus on your glutes and getting a stretch there. I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, the next two exercises, we're gonna do glutes. So we're only doing two quads, two glutes. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I should try moving the classic. Just kidding. My legs are pretty. I, I mean, I don't train them that much. So, like I said, I'm not really dedicated to this, like, to training legs hard a lot to help my deadlift hit a crazy deadlift and just get strong as shit, big as shit, and fast as shit with big legs. Period. Word. All right, so we're finishing up the leg workout, hitting hamstrings here. Um, like I said, I'm keeping the rep ranges around like eight to 10. Uh, right now, like I said, post show, I'm just giving it my best. Um, just having fun with it right now, getting into the training again, feeling good, finally. It's been a long prep. Came out with a national spot. We'll see what's, what's from here, but um, yeah, just having fun, training legs, haven't trained them in a while. So this is gonna be the last exercise.
All right, so if you're wondering why I'm not squatting is because actually for me, squatting just isn't the best for hypertrophy because I can't get that mind-muscle connection. Um, and also I want to build up strength in my legs, which then I can move into squats once I, once I feel better. Since I'm so lean, the risk to reward's too high. There's a chance I could get hurt. So uh, not training like squats right now, but focusing on hypertrophy, but I'm still getting the effect of doing a squat through the Smith machine, which in my opinion is just as good for muscle growth. All right, so next meal, we're gonna have some raw vegan protein. This is like the consistency. Now in this, it's peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter. As you can see, it's like got the crunchiness in it. Natural peanut butter, because it's lower in sodium. Light and fit Greek yogurt banana cream. And one banana going in here. Meal right here, like just like curves my craving so much. And it helps me a lot, it's got the fat in it. Yeah, I love it. One and a half scoops of protein. Amazing. It's got bananas, raspberries, deliciousness. I'll show you guys my desk setup of where I work. So this is what it looks like. Now I get almost everything from Amazon. This is a standing desk. It like goes up and down with these buttons here. It's pretty sick. It's like like a little roller coaster. Touch those buttons and this whole thing like retracts up and down. Got my foam roller down there and then here I like store shit in here. In my cup, I think I have a lens in there. Um, and then coffee cup because you know I love my coffee. And then uh, this is not my pencil but I use it. Uh, trust me, I, I mean nothing wrong with pink but I need to get me a new pencil. I got it from Brittany. Um, and then this is my laptop. This is like a standing um, laptop holder just like help my posture but yeah this is my workspace A lot of people are like, oh, you're so disciplined or, you know, you eat like so healthy. In reality, I just like eating a lot of food. So I like keeping it healthy because uh, volume's key. Like the more volume, the more full you're gonna feel as long as it's with like micronutrients. We got our carrots, vitamins, um, chicken, and then uh, chicken breasts, and then we got our rice. So yeah, this is gonna be a good meal with a whole bag of lettuce. I might add some ketchup, but. All right, for dinner, we have 12 ounces of venison, which comes out to be 96 for ground beef with 400 grams of potatoes. So this is gonna be the full day of eating. Um, I like this because meat and potatoes satiate me and finish off the day. And yeah, this is a full day of eating, post show, on a reverse diet. Like, comment, subscribe, stay corn fed. Catch you guys in the next one.